Okay everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the split screen feature in LED Edit. You can split your screen into different sections and record videos on each section simultaneously in LED Edit K version. In this tutorial, I'm not going into the basics of LED Edit K version such as creating a new project, creating a layout, programming, editing or exporting. If you like to know the basics, please check out my tutorial on LED Edit K version basics. Links are in the description. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to create the layout. I'm going to use the row layout feature to create a panel layout. The width of the panel is 200 pixels and the height is 144. I'm going to place the layout and save the layout and close the layout editor. I'm going to the program tab and select the program from the list. Use the tab navigation buttons to reach the screen tab. Click on screen tab. Click and check enable the split screen. In order to split the screen into different sections, you need to select each section in your layout. You cannot use your cursor to select the sections. To select each section, you have to provide these setting parameter values of the section. Okay, as you can see in this animation, when you are selecting a section from your mouse cursor, you start from a point which is the starting point and you leave your mouse at a point that is the end point which is here. This is the starting point and this is the end point. In LED edit, the starting point is the starting pixel. The pixel LED at the place you leave your mouse is the end pixel. These are the two pixel LEDs that we need to focus on. The starting pixel and the end pixel. You need to provide the starting pixel coordinates and the end pixel coordinates in order to select the section from your layout. I'm going to split this layout into four equal sections. In this case, I have 200 LEDs along the x-axis and 144 pixels along the y-axis. I have this diagram which show you how I'm planning to split the screen. As you can see, I have section 1, section 2, section 3 and section 4. Each section have starting pixel and end pixel. You need to get the x and y value of starting pixel and you need to get the x and y value of end pixel in your section. So how do you get this value? If you have a small layout, you can move your cursor on top of the pixel that you want the coordinate of. At the bottom of this software, you can see the portion value which have the x and y value of each pixel but this is a large layout it's very hard to get the pixel portion using this method so you have to create your own diagram as you can see the layout is 200 by 144 but i only have 199 on the x-axis and 143 on the y-axis this is due to the inclusion of 0 by 0 coordinate. So the first pixel's coordinate is 0 on x-axis and 0 on y-axis. So always remember to include 0. Uh, create your own diagram of your split sections. I'm going to use this diagram to fill the section values and create each section. I'm going to focus on the first section. As you can see, the coordinate of start pixel of section 1 is 0 by 0, which is the first pixel on the layout. 
I'm going to type 0 and 0 on start x and start y values. End pixel coordinate of section 1 is 99 on x axis and 71 on y axis. 99 on x which is the end value. 71 on end y. Now after you fill these values click on add the screen parameter. As you can see we have created our first screen or the first split screen. I'm going to focus on the section 2. The start pixel uh, coordinate of section 2 is x100 and y0. x100 and y0. Okay, the end pixel value of the section 2 is 199 on x-axis and 71 on y-axis. 199 on x and 71 on y. I'm going to click on add the screen parameter. Uh, as you can see, we have created our second the screen all right i'm going to this third section the start pixel coordinate of the section 3 is uh, 0 on x axis 72 on y axis the end pixel coordinate of the section 3 is 99 on x axis and 143 on y axis I'm going to click on add the screen parameter. As you can see, uh, I have created the third section. Now it's the last section. I'm going to focus on the last section. The fourth section uh, starting pixel coordinates are 100 on x axis and 72 on y axis. The end pixel coordinates of section 4 is 199 on x axis and 143 on y axis. Alright, now we have created our four equal sections. Keep in mind that this coordinate has nothing to do with the wiring patterns of wiring order it's just the placement of the pixels on the layout I'm going to add another screen which is the whole layout if you take the whole layout the starting pixel of the whole layout is the starting pixel of the section 1 which is 0 on x-axis and 0 on y-axis okay the end pixel coordinate of the whole layout is the end pixel coordinate of the section 4 which is 199 on x axis and 143 on y axis. Okay, I'm going to click on add the screen parameter. Okay, now we have four equal sections plus the whole section. If you want to select a section using mouse cursor, go to the top of the starting pixel and press and hold the control key and click the left mouse button and go to the top of the end pixel and click right mouse button. That's how you select the screen using mouse cursor. All right. The next step is to record. I'm going to select the whole section first and go back to effect tab. I'm going to click on open video. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a countdown animation. As you can see, the each number of the countdown in a separate animation file. I'm going to start with the number 5 and click open. If you want to record the whole animation, click on fast recording video. As you can see, which will automatically record the whole animation. 
To check out what's been recorded, click on play preview. Okay, click on pause. Now I'm going back to the screen tab and select the screen one and go back to the effect tab. Use the thumb slider to reach the frame that you want the recording to be started. I'm going to select the last frame using this time slider. Click on open video and I'm going to select the number 4. Uh, to record the whole animation, I'm going to click on fast recording video. Now I will go back to the screen tab and select the second screen. I'm going back to the effect tab and click on open video and select the third animation and click on open and to record the whole video I'm going to click on fast recording video go back to screen tab select the screen that you want to record come back to the effect tab open the video I'm going to select number two click open and click on fast recording video I'm going back to the screen tab and select the screen go back to effect tab click on open video select number one and click open all right click on fast recording video now we have recorded animations in each section one after another let's go back and I'm going to play All right, this is what has been recorded in each different section. Now I'm going to the simultaneous example. Select the screen that you want to record from the screen tab and go to the effect tab. Make sure that you are at the frame that you want the animation to be recorded and click on open video. I'm going to select the logo animation. Alright, I'm going to click on fast recording video. I'll go back to the screen tab and select the secondary screen. Come back to the effect tab. Now, in order to simultaneously record the animation, you need to go back to the frame of the other animation, the first animation. As you can see, this is the first frame. You can, if you want to move frame by frame, use these buttons. First frame is 151. I'm going to use this next and previous buttons to get to the first frame of the animation on the section one and click on open video and select the logo again. Click open and click on fast recording video. Now, Go back to the screen tab and select the third section. Come back to the effect tab. Select the frame 151 and click on open video and select the logo animation. Click on fast recording video. Go back to screen tab, select the screen, select the fourth screen and come back to effect tab and move the time of the frame slider to 151th frame click on open video and select the logo animation click open click on fast recording video now i'm going to play to see what has been recorded as you can see the at the end of the animation a simultaneous play of the logo on each section. I'm going to pause. I will add a last animation on the whole section. I'm going to add the logo on the whole section at the end. Select the last frame of the animation or the recording using the time slider now click on open video and click on logo and i'm going to click on fast recording video 
Now I'm going to play the animation. Let's say I want to add the logo at the beginning on the whole section. I'm going to pause. I'm going to the screen tab and select the whole section. Come back to the effect tab. Since we have recorded our animation, there's no option to shift the animation. But there's a way to shift the animation. I'm going to copy the whole animation. Click on copy. To select the whole animation, click on first uh, on the starting frame and click on last to get the end frame and click OK. Now we have copied the whole animation or recording and I'm going to paste, click on paste and I'm going to shift the animation 30 frames to shift the animation I'm going to type the frame number that I need to position my logo animation at the beginning. My logo animation have 30 frames so I'm going to shift it 30 frames by copying the whole animation and paste it after the 30th frame. Alright, I'm going to click OK. Back to the screen tab, select the screen that I want to record. Click on effect tab. I'm going to move the time or the frame slider to the first frame and click on open video and select the logo animation click open all right now i'm going to click on first recording video okay i'm going to play the animation as you can see the logo animation has been added to the beginning all right this is how you split your layout into different sections and record videos on each different section if you like the video please leave a like if you have any questions please leave a comment and if you like my channel please subscribe thank you for watching goodbye